Kimball second. Frank Keaty completes the sweep. Well, so much of my job as a racing driver, I don't have control of. You know, it's the changes the mechanics are making, it's the engineering adjustments that the timing stand's making, that race strategy. If you're looking at NASA, this is, this is our headquarters, this is our, um, our launch pad for operating at the racetrack. And Kate Gunlock is the brains behind this operation. At just 30 years old, Kate is one of the only female engineers in IndyCar, working as an assistant on Charlie Kimball's number 83. Kate's the one I'm asking about drive style, any, any adjustments I need to be doing in the comparison she sees. She's the one who's telling me where I'm losing time, where I'm making time, what it looks like to her, um, as well as during the race, calling the fuel strategy. We're making sure that all of our tire pressures are up to speed, up to pressure. We're looking at engine temps. We're looking at certain metrics that are generated each lap that tell us where the center pressure is on the car or what the handling might be or what the driver is doing so we can get an idea of what's the car, what's going on with the car before he actually comes in to tell us. There's so much to do, so much she is involved in, and she has to also help me make sure the car is competitive and fast on a, a day in, day out basis. So her job description is very tough. Kate's love of racing started early. It came from my parents and my grandparents, and they started getting everybody into bikes and this and that. So um, I just grew up around it. My dad and my mom both raced motorcycles. She graduated from the University of Pittsburgh with an engineering degree. From there, she spent several years in Star Mazda before making the jump to IndyCar. Was it intimidating when you first started in IndyCar at all? Yeah, you know, it's first the first time you, you touch one of the big Indy cars, you're just like, oh man, you know. But um, it's just it's just another race car like anything else I've worked on, and it's just more expensive and bigger. There's also the trust factor she's had to build with Charlie and the rest of the team. We talk about the time that you can lose or make up in pit lane with the pit crew, and the same thing on the engineering stand. You know, if if they we can't come up with a good setup as a team, driver, engineer, assistant engineer then the car's not even going to be fast enough to compete, let alone win. The teammates here is one big family. They're a bunch of brothers to me, and they're, you know, if you support each other and you want to see each other do well, and it's probably, I think the late nights working on the car and everyone works together and everyone's happy about it, that's when it's really special.